everybody, Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com, and we continue our NFL thumbnail previews for the upcoming 2020 campaign. We are in the AFC West. We've already talked about Kansas City and Denver. You can check out those on my YouTube page along with the entire NFC preview. And uh, also, we'll continue this. We'll try to do them every other day, but we're going to talk about the Chargers on this particular report. We'll get to that in a minute. Hey, don't forget, if you've yet to take advantage, become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, whether, whether you do it now uh, or whether you wait until North American Sports uh, comes back in play. Uh, you can get that free $60 account by clicking on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for the free 60 bucks. You can turn around and use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com for that matter. And uh, why not jump on board? We got a seven-star play on Saturday, May 2nd. If you're watching this in time, it goes at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, Nicaraguan soccer. It's their finals. It's leg one of the finals. They play two games. First one goes Saturday night. Uh, we're seven and one as we speak and up almost $2,000 over the last two weeks in soccer. So don't miss out on that. And also we got Korean baseball starting on Tuesday, May 5th. Looks like ESPN is this close to covering Korean baseball. And uh, that'll make it even more fun to jump in on. And uh, uh, again, that starts Tuesday. We'll talk a little bit more about it on a Monday or Tuesday video. Uh, but we're uh, handicapping Taiwan baseball. Korean baseball even takes it to another level. Uh, three best leagues in, in baseball around the world. Major League Baseball, of course, top level. Japanese second, Korean third. Uh, so don't miss out. Check it out. It'll be fun. Triple A baseball. So the yeah, point was is you can use those 60 bucks, those free 60 bucks on my Korean baseball games. And those get started. My soccer games, my Taiwan baseball games. And soon, May 17th, NASCAR. It's back. UFC next week. All those different sports that you'll be able to use the free $60 trial run, as we like to call it over at DocSports.com. All right. Uh, don't forget, you can also check out free picks when it comes to soccer almost every day of the week. Want to jump in now to the Chargers uh, thumbnail for the 2020 campaign. And uh, they're listed at plus 800 to win the AFC West. Of course, you got Kansas City, the big gun. Uh, over under on the Chargers, seven and a half wins. The price on that is $1.10 either way. Uh, Phillip Rivers era is over, as you know, uh, with the Charger organization. The Bolts finished with only five wins last year, despite the fact they had a preseason over under wins total set at 10. Of course, they had injuries. Phillip Rivers was banged up and the season fell apart. They end up with five wins. Tyrod Taylor likely to be the starter as they speak, at least right now in early May, but they did go after uh, Justin Herbert from Oregon in the draft. Really sharp dude, really sharp signal caller. Got questions about his arm strength, so that'll be something to keep an eye on when uh, the NFL finally does get back to camp and at the start of the season, but Tyrod Taylor likely to be the starter the way they're talking. I thought as a team they drafted well, the Chargers organization. I like Kenneth Murray at linebacker. Uh, it really is a matter of how far was this team from a 10-win campaign last year uh, and how far they were by, I, I mean, by the amount of injuries that cost them games they could have, maybe even should have won. Uh, when you look at their head coach, Anthony Lynn, it's time to start winning. He needs a winning season. Probably not going to catch Kansas City. We all know that, but they never, better not finish at the bottom of the league. Uh, Taylor, if he starts, I like him playing on this team, and I think they will uh, rebound after underperforming last year, and I like teams like this. Almost at any major sport, when you got a team that is overhyped one year and they fall short and they badly underachieve and all of a sudden they're kind of flying under the radar the next year, I like to pounce on those teams if the, if the, uh, if, if the right tools are in place. And I think that's the case here with the Chargers. And remember last year we were talking about an over-under wins total of 10. It's now 7.5. It's reasonable. Uh, they have Cincinnati and Miami on the road, two winnable road games. Uh, they will welcome Carolina and Jacksonville at home. You better win those. Uh, they can beat the Raiders at least once. They could beat the Broncos at least once. Maybe steal a road win the rest of the way. And I really think this team is in for an eight or nine win season. I'm leading nine wins, at least eight. I like the Chargers over the total of seven and a half wins. Real quick, if you're watching this early, 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, uh, we are playing the over in Saturday, May 2nd, Belarus soccer uh, between FK Slutsk and Dinamo Minsk. That over under two and a half. Probably have to lay about a dollar ten or thereabouts. Uh, but just wanted to give you that also as a free play in case you're watching this before kickoff at 11 a.m. Don't forget, Saturday, May 2nd, I've got my seven-star play in Saturday night, primetime, Nicaraguan soccer, like one of the finals. We'll look to uh, win again, 7-1 and one through Friday, up almost $2,000 for $100 per unit players. That's seven-star available. DocSports.com, Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. It's going to do it for our Chargers update. Again, we like them over seven and a half wins. Uh, when we do come back with our next NFL report, which should be on Monday, uh, we will preview
you the 2020 Las Vegas Raiders. Gotta like that. All right, that'll do it for me. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Let's have a winning weekend. We'll talk to you again on Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.